Advances in display technology have led to the creation of transparent display mobile devices. However, aside from showcased augmented reality scenarios, little is known about their advantage for everyday mobile tasks. We built two transparent display tablets, T-pads, and explore the potentially rich set of interaction techniques possible with such technology. We present four categories of interactions for transparent display tablets. The first category is overlay interactions, where users simply place the T-pad on top of a physical object and manually superimpose content on it. For example, users can trace an image directly through the transparent display. Users can also collaborate and suggest changes to a physical blueprint without damaging it. Another possibility is to exploit the match between the display dimensions and the real world to perform physical queries. For example, a ruler application is used to manually measure the dimensions of printed objects. Configuring the scale of an underlying line chart enables users to query for particular values facilitating analytical tasks. The second category is dual-sided display and input interactions, and relates to the possibility to observe and use a transparent display from either side. For example, users can launch a second application or answer notifications on the reverse side of the T-pad. Users can also copy and paste content from one side to the other by means of a tap and flip gesture. The third category is capture interactions, where the transparent display itself captures the objects below it. For example, a grabbing interaction captures and saves a picture. Surface capture also facilitates the use of markers, which are monitored by a background process and thus do not require explicit invocation of a reader app. Similarly, hand-drawn scribbles can be interpreted as commands to the device. The final category is model interactions, which use the surface capture image to provide contact-based augmented reality, or CAR, interactions. For example, users can tap on a printed word to search for other occurrences on the same page. Users can also create highlights and hand scribbles that stay attached to a particular location of the document. Finally, particular areas of the document can have associated content such as video which is triggered automatically. Our first prototype, the T-Pad D, uses a low opacity LCD display, two capacity touch sensors, and motion sensors to detect the interaction side. Our second prototype, the T-Pad C, simulates surface capture by attaching an overhead camera. We demonstrate the benefits of T-Pad interactions for common everyday tasks on mobile devices. We conducted two experiments. In the first experiment, we looked at how T-Pads can support better multitasking by facilitating application switching. We used an information-seeking task involving multiple applications at varying distances away from the tablet's home screen. We compare the existing home button and multitask bar methods to our proposed flipping and tap and flip methods. Results showed that multitasking using the tap and flip method is faster than other methods, and this is true both when there are several applications involved and when the device has many applications installed. Flipping alone was faster than pressing the home button, but is equally good as the multitasking bar. The second experiment looked at the efficiency of taking a picture with surface capture versus a normal camera approach, and the effects of image cropping in both scenarios. Results showed that for objects of all sizes, surface capture performed faster and users preferred it over and found it more natural than camera capture. We presented four categories of interaction techniques for transparent display tablet computers and demonstrated their functioning through two early prototypes. Further, we demonstrated the benefit of these interaction capabilities in two everyday tasks such as application switching and information capture. In both cases, transparent display interactions outperformed the existing alternatives. Please see the paper for further details and user feedback.